the following presentation does not represent Australian opinion or intellect. We do not speak for any religious order or ethnic minority. We are not political scientists or uni graduates. We are insignificant upper lower class scum, comparing notes and airing grievances. It's just our opinion. Deal with it. So GST will ever be part of our policy. Never ever it's dead. We go back to where they're talking. It is a big idea. No, we don't need them. A new world order. By, by 1990, no Australian child will be living in poverty. You should show us. Hands up, just send a message. Hands up, recently invited you to a private person. Hey, good luck. I'm going to pay back, idiot. I keep getting... It's funny, man. My credit card gets, like, nearly maxed out, and they're like, do you want to apply for a credit limit? Raise. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. The reason the reason why it got the the credit limit got dropped is because I I pulled the personal loan in order to get my car. Yeah. So they lowered. They said to me the only way to get your credit like the only way to get your loan approved is by lowering your credit card limit. I'm like okay, so lower it. <laughs> and now it's like, do you want more money? <laughs> and you know what's fucked? Every time I get get near maxing out my credit card, or if I do max out my credit card, like close to it or just over it. They'll send me a, a Commonwealth Bank, like, standard, every fucking time, within three days, I'll have a letter from Commonwealth Bank saying, do you want to increase your uh, credit limit? <laughs> no, I'm not even joking. I wish I was joking. He, here's $10,000. No, no, no. Oh, with an interest of 45%. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not even joking. I'm not joking. It's fucked up. It's like, they've done everything they can to get rid of, like, stop me from getting money, and then they give me more money, and then they give me another chance to get more money once I've maxed out my money. Yeah, they're like, oh, looks like you've run out of money, son. Would you no, like to apply for another loan? It's <laughs> fucked. Like, like, there's no... And, 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 man, and I'm, like, I'm pretty responsible. Mm. You know what I mean? I won't just go and blow, like, 6K random on, like, a shit. fucking... Yeah, on something random or whatever. I'm pretty responsible, man. Like, now you know why all these people, like, fall into payday loans and stuff like that. Like, it's just... Yeah, these payday loan guys are sh- well, rubbing go. their hands. Yeah, he, like, here's a million dollars. Have fun. We'll just get another credit card. <laughs> and we'll pay that credit card off with, like, another credit card. And then we'll pay that credit card off with another credit but card. But what we'll do is we'll lift the interest yeah. for you. Just just because, you know... Cunts, man. What's the interest on this loan? 45.5%. Oh, okay. 45.5%. <laughs> 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 It's just taking your blood, man. <laughs> Would you like to take my leg with that? Like, What's the payday rate? You know those payday um, credit it's, unions? It's, GE is close to twenty percent on a personal loan. Is it's, it's about seventeen percent. So if you've got a if you've got a, a loan for like a grand, get it, man. You pay. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well go get a personal loan from the bank and pay out your payday loan. <laughs> it's pretty high, man. It's really high. That's fucked. <laughs> it's fucked. Like, out of every hundred bucks, I think you've got to pay it back like 15 bucks. Man, you know what's funny? Like, <laughs> Wait, are we on the air? Um, yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah, no, I just I'm just, just ranting. I didn't, yeah, I didn't fucking, I didn't think anything. I just, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Nah. Welcome, Johnny. <laughs> Hello, boys. Welcome to the podcast, black. if that's not right. We're seriously all wearing black. It's a winter's day. It's a shit day, so. It's the first day. Portrays our moods. Mm. Yeah, I feel like shit. I actually feel sick. Yeah. I got a headache, like bad. Oh, was that? Was there like a pill left here somewhere? For <laughs> just, oh. just searching for pills. No, I'm telling you, remember the last time? We'll... Yeah, you actually said you had one left. Yeah, yeah. Did, I, did I put it on the desk? Wait, any... I think you might have taken it with oh, you. Oh, the dolomite. The dolomite boy. Are there any pills? Yeah, here you... we go. Uh, do, I to, do I want to waste this? Do I want to sacrifice a whole Macindo cup? Maybe when you get home, <laughs> just drop it. <laughs> nah, I can't because I got to do this, the edit when I get home. <laughs> when I get home, I'll be getting scotch out, man. <laughs> and a Masindo. Now, you know what? I think today's the first day where it's actually cold. Like, legit, yeah. legitimately cold. People bitch about the weather all the time, but I think today's the first day where it's legitimately cold. Well, we jumped on the plane. Oh, I just flew back from Sydney. Oh, yeah. So, we just... How, how, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does your right. mother want to listen to this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we'll just leave it there then. <laughs> it was all right. Sydney was... <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Sydney. Fucking dumb up. Sydney. No, you were saying um, you were bitching about Jetstar when we sat down. Oh, dude. Like, first of all, our flight was delayed. Not long, but it was delayed. When you get to Melbourne, the terminal, you know how long the fucking walk is? They make us get outside on the the tarmac. Like, there's no, like, internal booth, so you can't just go straight to the airport. They make you get out, 
And the, I love it, the um, <laughs> Judas, whatever the fucking name is, she's like, oh, be careful of the weather out there, it's a bit, bit cold. Be cold! <laughs> I, go, fuck, I walked outside, and I fucking got blown away on the gust. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this shit? And then I started hailing, and then, ah, oh, fuck it, I was just, I'm over it. Jetstar <laughs> shit, man. The one flight I've had to take with Jetstar earlier in the year, I was going to go to Sydney just for, yeah. like, a random sort of thing. And the one flight I went to take got cancelled. <laughs> like, as in, yeah, no worries. It's, <laughs> it was 45 minutes from the flight. Like, I was checked in. Like, you check in an hour yeah. early for domestic. Like, that's standard. Yeah. I checked in at an hour. Oh, you're going to need some help with that one. Because there's no, there's no, um, there's no one there. What, well, the terminal? Yeah, no, man. It's all automated. Yeah. So there's no one there. And they're like, yeah, uh, we'll check the system. Oh, you're going to have to go to the help desk for this one. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? And I go there and like, oh, yeah, it's uh, cancelled. Why? And they gave me some bullshit reason. I don't remember why. I'm like, so what are my options? Uh, we can refund you. Oh, no, they said that my options were um, to fly later on the day. The next flight was like three hours away. Yeah, I meant to stay here for three hours at the airport to do what, man? Like, Jack, what do you mean? What do you mean to do at the airport for three hours? Like, Jacket, l- literally. That's see, that's when you start up smoking. Oh, <laughs> that's I was like, go oh, outside, have a smoke. That, that'll kill the pain. Yeah, <laughs> I made up some shit about how like I had this and that, like you know, appointments. It's got an important business meeting. Yeah, I have yeah. to go so to. What time you have to be there? I'm like, it, fucking, it's the end yesterday. Of, it's the end of business, to- like soon, man. Like, what do you want me to do? Call the office in Sydney and tell them to <laughs> buckle down because I'm going to be you know, eight hours late. Order some Chinese. Yeah, <laughs> the, flight, the flight wouldn't take off for another three hours. And then by the time, you get by there. The time I got there, it was going to be I'd literally get Four there and at and like hours. eight o'clock or something. Like instead of being there at like five, I'd get there at eight. Yeah. Like yeah, you just tell people, clients, you know. But yeah, no, it's fine. Sorry, our flight is cancelled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I'll tell them on behalf what? of who. And I got everyone's names down. I started losing it. I go, I go what are you going to do? This is bullshit. Like I, I fucking lost it. Like, I lost my shit, man. What I, I lost it at the guy at the terminal as well, man. Because there was an older <laughs> couple... Kind of there was an older couple next to me. There was an older couple next to me. <laughs> you! <laughs> this guy! He just reminded me of I'm serious. You. There was an older couple next to me, and they were really meek and just like, Oh, but... Like, but what did you... I went, oh, I, Jeff, like, Jeff and Jill. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, real starchy sort of couple. They didn't know what to do. And they're like, they're just like... I don't know what they were doing, but I lost it, and I started being a smartass, and I'm like, mate, like, I can't remember what I said, I should have written it down, it's hilarious, I just lost it, it was being a smartass, and the guy behind the desk is like, uh, you're being looked after, mate, I'm help- attending to these, these uh, pe- uh, like people or whatever, so do you want to just you know, stop talking and la la la, I go, no, I go, I'm not going to stop talking. Settle down, cheat. Yeah, I cracked it, <laughs> I cracked it, I rolled him, like, in his place, he's just, like, looking at the ground, like, typing, you know what I mean, <laughs> just rolled him, like, bad, I'm like, don't even start, cunt, I'm like, you didn't tell me to pipe down, I go, for what, re- what have I done wrong, mate, I go, Jet- I go, just start, decide to tell me on arrival an hour before the flight, which is the recommended check-in time, yeah. I go, it's not like I rocked up 10 minutes ago. I go, and I go, they couldn't, I go, Jetstar couldn't send a fucking text. I go, they couldn't send a text, an email. Uh, uh, look, look, oh, you know, we've only just found out. I go, when did you find out? Oh, you know, like half an hour ago, whatever. I go, good. So you've had half an hour to stand around and do dick all. Meanwhile, people are still traveling into the airport to make this flight that's yeah. never going to happen. And it's not hard. Look through the passenger list. I go, send yeah. a text message. Send a te- an automated text. I go, you can bill us automatically. When we reserve the ticket, you can send us a text They can close a gate. Yeah. Whenever they fucking You can want. close the gate without even checking like, for anyone. Yeah. I go, when we, when we book our flights, an automated text gets sent through. But you can't send it. You can't just hit <clears> the next button over to send an automated text to say this flight's now been hard, cancelled. Man. It's too hard. You Stop break- people travelling from fuck knows where to make this flight. He might break a nail, man. Yeah, he just went, he just went quiet, man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the flight. He just, he, just, he just went quiet, man. It was fucking hilarious. Last time, last time I came through customs, I don't remember it because I took two Xanax. And I, it <laughs> oh, literally, yeah. It literally wiped my memory. I don't remember. <laughs> he just floated through his customs. That's what I mean. You got through customs. And I had a, a taser. A taser, yeah. And knuckle dusters. Yeah, and you didn't knuckle even remember it. Like, you just flo- floated. I don't remember even Dude, getting knuckle home. Knuckle dusters and a taser, and you floated through customs off your head. Yep. And there's no, no issue. I must have looked fucked as well because I don't remember it. This, yeah, look, this little, what's his name? Bobby. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I must but have looked so spaced out. I'll like, get yeah. checked like every time for what, man? Like seriously, we have tic tacs in my pocket. It's we fucked. have been. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. That man. reminds me. The other day, I went through a booze bus, right? And the first three cars in front of me all got tested. <laughs> Your way through. She, I pulled up to her. She looked at me, and I was dressed like a bogan that I am. I had my hat on and a singlet and shit. She looked at me, and she's like, "You're good to go, mate." 
Oh, so the just, one cunt that actually looks like he'd be drinking Are coffee. you serious? <laughs> and I just went up my window, thank you, and just kept driving. And the three cars before me were Tommy like... thought you were cute, Bobby. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, no, no, so she, she, happens. If maybe she thought you were dick. cute, shouldn't she pull you over? And like try and... Or her maybe her? She, she, because she's on duty, she can't really get a number, but she's probably like... Okay. Like, Hopefully like, he sees me at the Maccas tomorrow. Oh, oh, he saw my badge. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> not really. <laughs> but I was surprised. Like, three cars in front of me were, like, nice, like, looking cars. Like, you know what I mean? Like, sort yeah. of, like, neat You know shit. why? My car's all dirty. You know why? Single the three cars in front of me were all ethnic. Yesterday was Anzac Day, mate. You know, fuck with the Anzacs, oh, mate. Don't bring it to the fucking ethnic shit. Do you know shit. what I did for Anzac Day? <laughs> Do you know what I did for Anzac Day after work? I played Battlefield 1. Nice. <laughs> Seriously? Oh. As Germans. I was playing with Golf 5, Johnny Dez, and um, Orange as well from work. We were yeah. all playing online. Again, okay, in the spirit of Anzac Day, we're running around as Ottomans, like, trying to shoot down the resistance. <laughs> the Germans. Yeah, seriously. The three of us, like, the four of us were playing... Battlefield 1. So you're having a war on, on Anzac Day? <laughs> in, in the spirit of Anzac Day. <laughs> Let's get them, boys. Oh, I was fucked up, man. All in your jocks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was, man. I seriously was. I had a beer and some chocolate-covered pretzels. I was just sitting there, man. Chocolate-covered That's pretzels? That's hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, chocolate. I found a sauce for the chocolate-covered pretzels in the airport. Really? <laughs> like 20 bucks a bag. I still haven't tried those. You told me to try them. Uh, I've got an extra bag at home. I'll grab them. Bring me one in. You will just bring me a single it'll, pretzel in. No, no, no. It'll never be the same for you. You'll have it, and you'll be like, "No, nah, this." You'll is be it. driving to the airport looking for yeah, it, man. Yeah. Wow, yeah, that, could, that, that good. good. It's that good. Yeah. Well, do you like savory and sweet like combined? Yeah. <laughs> Look yeah. at mum yeah. blast. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? It's all right. Are you out of your mind? I'm <laughs> serious. Why what, what's not? Some, what are some other examples of savory and sweet together? Uh, uh pancakes with like uh, bacon. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I do. Okay, there you yeah. go. Have you had Ben and Jerry's ice cream with pretzels in it? No. Oh, dude. Pancakes with bacon. Oh, yeah, dude. The pr- yeah. Oh, dude, it's... So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we talked about it once on a podcast. Yeah, I used an old one. Yeah. I was listening to back this. Uh, dude, that's one of my favourite things. Um, pancake parlour, like Canadian breakfast or whatever. That? So you get, like, uh, pancakes, eggs, bacon, and hash brown, but they put maple syrup over the top of it. Uh, yeah, like chicken, chicken and waffles. waffles. That's what I make at home, man. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, it's like chicken and waffles. When you go... Yeah. You have the waffles with the, you know, syrup and shit, and then you eat chicken. Hot chicken is mad. I've never had chicken and waffles, but yeah. Oh, dude, it's a bike. You can get it in Melbourne. Yeah, you can get... There's heaps of places you can get in Melbourne now. Mm. If you just Google chicken waffles Melbourne, it'll come up. Mm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Do you know how many times I fucking make those breakfasts and I get stared at? Because, you know, when you go to, like, a, a cafe or whatever for breakfast. And you ordered like this set plate. Yeah. They assume that that one set plate is for one person. Yeah. I'd gone to a starchy joint out in Morty Alec like a year and a half ago or something. Yeah. <laughs> I've sat down and I've ordered like the bacon and like three eggs or whatever, and then like hash browns and all the other shit. Yeah. But then I've ordered their French toast on top of it. Yep. And their French toast was like a, a dessert plate, like yeah, on yeah. its own. Yeah. There you go, Johnny. Oh, those yeah. chicken and waffles look good. Yeah, I was just, mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I could bite right into that. I could bite the last right time we went, we got chicken and waffles. I got some grits. <laughs> grits and he got right. some, you know, um, some collard greens. <laughs> Dude, I, ordered, I ordered the first plate, and then I've said, and I want the French toast as well. And like, uh, you do know that's another meal. I'm like, yeah. What do you mean? Uh, we'd have to charge you the full price. I'm like, but bring it. Like, Did I, I ask you what you want now? Give me my <laughs> bring it. Dude, we ordered. Then like. Ten minutes later, the waitress has come back out. It's like, um, you do know that's like a full portion meal. I'm like, yes. Give me my fucking food. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what do you mean? And then then I've watched them go back to where the, because the chef was like one of those open style. The chef chefs. looks out. Looks yeah, at you know, the chef standing in the line yeah, yeah, like yeah. behind the counter. Yes, that's definitely what he wants. And they just wants. looked at me and they're shaking their head as if like I've, like I, th- I sort of uh, like, we're talking about, I'm like, what, what do you think that is? Go, Dude, look around you. You think there are any other wogs here ordering, like, speak, I think I was training at that point as well. Like, do you think there are any other wogs here buying, like, 80 fucking bucks worth of food just for one person? Like, I go, look around you. And it was all just, like, starchy. Nigel. <laughs> yeah, Nigel's and, like, Sarah. Cheryl's. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. And, and like, the, the, the dudes look like wannabe surfer kids from, like, the 50s. Uh. You know what I mean? And I was like, yeah, I guess you got a point. It's like, yeah, trust me. The, guy, the, the chef probably got pissed off because he thought, that I thought the meals wouldn't be enough, like the servings wouldn't be yeah, enough. Yeah, he got yeah, offended. Yeah. yeah, he got offended. And the whole time, I was How just watching him. him. While I was watching him, the whole time, it was just like fretting. Like, just, oh, oh, like it was such a pain. Let's to give to, my fucking like, meal. You're paying for it, man. I didn't ask for a freebie. Just bring the meal. Mm. Dude, and when the waitress brought it out, she had like this, she looked shaking. <laughs> yeah, she was shaking. Like, she put the plates down, but she, it was like she wasn't, she thought it was a joke. 
Like, she's like, guys, oh, is this guy for real? Dude, I stacked it all on one plate. Like, you can take the plate away. She's just looking at me like, what's this guy doing? <laughs> Who is this animal? The plate was literally like 30 <laughs> centimetres tall. I just threw it into it, man. Just smashed the whole thing. The chefs were watching me eat the fucking thing. Look at this machine. <laughs> like, yeah. Ordered a juice at the end of it. I'm like, all right, thanks a lot. See you later. I walked out of that joint, and I swear to God, I reckon everyone in there must have thought, who the fuck was that idiot? Like... Like it was strange for me to order all that food. Like you were some wild beast. <laughs> <laughs> some dirty wild animal. Yeah, man. Come to their establishment. Dude, <laughs> fucking French toast. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, look, I'm Greek, man. The one thing we don't skimp on is food. Like, yeah, we've said it before. If we don't, if we don't have TVs in our houses, so be it. But as long as we're eating properly, we don't care. Mm-hmm. I go, I, I've maxed credit cards out on meals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I just see what's in the menu. I'm like, well, I, want, well, I, want, I want it. I want whatever that is, I want it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just sitting there, like, get up to go pay. It's like, hey, there's an almond croissant. Give me that almond croissant to go. <laughs> really? I'm like, yeah. After they've seen me destroy. Like, why question me? Yeah. Like, just give it to I'll me. I'll have the bacon, the halloumi, three eggs scrambled, please, and the fucking toast. Oh, that oh, sounds I- good. Yeah. Like- <laughs> well, I did the whole extra bacon thing this morning. Oh, yeah? I went to the cafe. So I got, like, a big breakfast, you know, but the breakfast is chorizo, halloumi, in, like, a red sauce with bread, poached egg. Mm-hmm. She's looking at me, like, I'll, I'll get a side of bacon as well. She goes, oh, do you... Like a side of bacon. I go, yeah, 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 and just whatever. She brings it to me. She's like, this cunt's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Straight out. This cunt's fucked. Kalumi. Couple of fatties Chorizo over here. and bacon. Dude, Couple, you what? Can't, you Couple can't, of fatties. No. Fatties? Why? Because I like... Dude... I can get away with having a mad breakfast and not eating food. And you know what? You don't know when your last meal is, so enjoy it, man, because... You... Okay, hang on, wait. I'm not a glutton, all right? Because you're looking at me like I eat... Sin- <laughs> Look at his face. One of the seven deadly sins, boy. All right, man. Gluttony. The few times that he's come to my mum's house and she's brought out like a few... Spit his pie. He's literally tra- cleaning the plate off. I haven't even had anything he's literally yet. He's dropped his pants. <laughs> I'm ready to go. All right, boys. This is all mine. Yes. It <laughs> loosens the belt. <laughs> Where are you going, man? Actually, I remember last time your mum brought it, I like snuck an extra piece and quickly ate it before anyone else could get <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Okay, well, this cunt. Yeah. <laughs> like, remember the last? I remember like three, three, four weeks ago when we did an epi- uh, like a morning session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I came in with the hu- that sandwich from the. And I, I even asked him, do you, want, some, do you want something yeah. from the shop? No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I come in, I've got that breakfast. And he's uh, like, what, you, what do you got there? Yeah. <laughs> and then what was it like? Um, it was halloumi. Yeah, halloumi. I don't know what else was in Egg it. Egg or something in it. Do you want some halloumi? No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I just gave him that long piece of cheese. You've just like guzzled it like a duck. He didn't even chew it, man. Straight down the throat. <laughs> Gone. You know what I mean? Fucking hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I found an interesting article. Do you want to hear it? It made me laugh. Mm, I thought I'd save it for this. All right. All right. This is the headline, all right? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Factory worker sticks a 1.6 foot long eel into his anus, believing it could treat his constipation. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? I'm serious. Where was this? All right, here we it go. It better be overseas somewhere. Yeah, it is. A factory worker from southeast China... Oh, there we go. ...put a, yeah. put a, put a half a metre long eel into his anus in a bid to cure his constipation problem. 49-year-old Mr. Liu was rushed to local hospital <laughs> after claiming he had a stomach ache last week. Doctors were shocked when they found the Asian swamp eel in his stomach along with faeces and food residue. <laughs> How long was it? One point... Uh, one point, uh, one point six foot long. Holy that's shit, like, man, dude, that's like that long. Dude. Look, I'll just quickly show you. Here's a picture of them pulling out of his ass. Look. Oh oh. How disgusting is that? Why didn't you just stick a pole up there? Do you want oh, to laugh? Oh, just I'm just saying. Like, I love how he brings an article in. That's the article that he brings here. Like it, it has to be like. <laughs> Yeah, so he was told that it would clear the blockage. Like, if you put a live eel head first in, it would clear the blockage. That's what he was told. And he actually believed that and went ahead and stuck it up there. Who would tell him something? Do you reckon his mates were like, look at this dickhead? <laughs> like, like, what a fuck with? Seriously, <laughs> He actually man. did it. Dude, my first thought was, like, what's wrong with, like, a constipation tablet or something? Like... No, some China, ca- my friend. some KFC, man. Just do. And a Coke. Like, he didn't no, go to the, Indian. He didn't go to the doctors. He, he took the advice and put an eel up his ass. And, like, how the fuck did he get it up there? Just a whole lot of KY, man. <laughs> just, I'll, I'll be honest, though. Just full jamming it in there. <laughs> <laughs> imagine that. I know some old logs. And it was live, so it started biting around and thrashing southern, in there. Southern China? And he left it in there for a week. Yes. He left it in there for a week. And then he's like, oh, shit, my stomach hurts. I better go to the hospital now. And then No, shit, you've got a 1.6 foot eel in your fucking ass. <laughs> Dude, if it's southern China, how rural is the area? That's what you want to look at. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, what province? What, where is he from? Yeah. Just this in China? Yeah. Oh, wait. We asked Mr. Liu when we spotted the eel in his stomach. 
he <laughs> he said the eel went into his anus by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> of course it did. A foot and a half of eel up his ass by mistake. But after the surgery, he told us that he actually put an eel inside his anus himself. No shit. What's wrong with people, man? I know. How fucked up is that? It doesn't sound like a constipation issue. It sounds like he just wanted an eel up his ass. <laughs> yeah, well, the constipation thing might have been a lie. It might have just been yeah. like a fetish thing. Yeah, I dude, don't you know. see all this shit all the time, though. The amount of things that people do to themselves. Actually, you know what? Gerbils is that. Do I remember? <laughs> Did you ever Richard see... <laughs> Did you see... Gerbil boy. <laughs> Gerbil boy. <laughs> Did you ever see that fucking photo? I was going to I was gonna bring it up with you. Uh, not bring it up. I thought of it the other day, because I saw some kid walking around with, like, you know, tunnel spaces in his mm. ears. They were massive. Like, his ears were just flapping along in the, in the breeze. Stretched right down to his knees. Yeah. In the wind. In the wind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that, and like I thought about all, like all the piercings and shit I have, yeah. yeah. And then I thought about the tats that I've got, and how we're stuck with them for life. Mm. Like, well, like, I mean, not you can for, get them lasered off. Get them lasered off, but I mean, that's more money. Fuck that. Yeah, I mean, where <laughs> takes my a few le- sessions as well. Where my labret used to be, there's a scar. There's scar tissue mm. there now. Like I can feel like yeah, the bumps mm. and shit. You know, I've got a scar on my back where I had the, my operation. There's scar. Like yeah, it's mm. there's, it's scar tissue. Now I thought, did you ever see that dude on the net? Some kid, and he had like massive spaces yeah, yeah, yeah. cut out into his cheek. His cheek, yeah. yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. What a fuck with? Was that real? That was real. Yeah, so you can Dude, see right through lot. his cheek. Yeah. 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 Why the fuck would anyone do that? Do a fuck with? No, 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 like, honestly. Did he want his 15 minutes of fame? Yeah, I think it's just like, you're just pushing the limits to get noticed, I guess. Like, <laughs> what? You know what I mean? Like what that is just- the point of that? <sighs> because I, I get body art as a form of art, and, or a form of expression... Well, you know, if you want to be the bearded lady in the circus or the bald, the tattooed dude, you know what I mean? Like, there's that guy. Remember that guy that got his body completely covered in tats to look like a lizard or whatever? Yeah, but, oh, there was the um. There's the skeleton guy too. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Like the, every year. I'm thinking there's... of the Scottish guy who looks like a lion. Yeah, there's that guy as well. Yeah. Yeah, like clearly the lion boy. Their, their careers are mapped out for the rest of the. You're talking about this kid? That kid? Yeah. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, is that oh, legit? Yeah, what, German man. What does it say about it? Uh, didn't say much. Huffington Post. Here, let's have a look. But what a what a wanker! Uh, German man makes devil man look like a wimp. Okay, <laughs> we thought we'd seen it all with Diablo, the soft huddled devil man. But oh, yeah, I remember him. Joe yeah. Migler, a 23 year old German <laughs> body enthusiast. Stigler. <laughs> who, who's gone one step further? He's created giant cheek holes in his face, which offers a side view of his teeth. That's all they've got on it. So you could poke like his tongue through his cheek, to his cheek, and go. Oh, oh, oh. He goes by the name of Body Modded Punky on social media. Uh, <laughs> goes by the name of Cheek Boy. He's been experimenting <laughs> on himself since the age of thirteen. Oh like that's God. just fucking retarded, man. That's no, but like thirty-six <laughs> millimeters wide, three three point six centimeters. So like that. On your but, face, but also, gap. also they're going to stretch out because your face is meant to like. Yeah, it's when you Talk when you eat. How's he meant to eat? That's what that was my first thought, and then I thought about all the bacteria and shit that would be going in there, dude. Because you're constantly exposed, like you know when you have like a, a fresh wound or an open wound, yeah. like keep it covered. Yeah. This guy's got an open wound for life, like on his face. Yeah. But then like, like one thing that stops me right from getting like more tats, like ridiculous tats or whatever, and like like a face tat or something. Yeah, is how am I going to explain it to anyone else in the for the rest of my life? You know what I mean? Like even like like Nick says that you know he has his nieces um whatever like comment on his tats. Right, because like he's got the arm exposed. Like I've got none that are actually exposed. I've got yeah? exposed tats. So it's... And like the next one I get is probably going to be one that comes over my arm. So you'll be able to see it. Yeah, if I'm wearing a short t-shirt yeah. or a singlet, you'll see it for sure. And then I think about like like I saw a photo of myself from about five years ago, four years ago, and I had like a mohawk, and I had like at that point I had seven piercings like mm. in my head, like the labrette, three in my ear, my two lobes, my nose. And I thought, fuck, man, that's a lot of shit. Mm. And I thought, what? If, like I was thinking about my nephew, like. What happens when he like wants to see photos of us from like ten years ago? It's like, hey, yeah, this is what your uncle looked like. Huh? What the fuck? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I thought about that kid for some fucking reason. Look what a retard! Like, yeah. could you imagine like, um, like, so let's say he has kids. Like, what were you thinking? Like, these Dude, people like kids. Like, I don't care how open-minded you are. Imagine if like your daughter rocked up to the house with him. Like him, I'd be, I'd be like, it's like if he had a if he had a prison tat, or like a tear drop down his eye, I'd be like, Christ, he's a hard cat. Like I can't even act <laughs> like a, a hero around him. Yeah. I'd be like, so uh, John, how are you? <laughs> yeah, like if you see my daughter a long time, yeah, all right. This kid, if he rocked up, I'm like, who the fuck are you, man? Did I slap the piercings out of his face? Yeah. <laughs> how, how does get it- out of my house? Like, 
That's got nothing to do with like, oh, you're not open minded or you're too closed. Right? It's like, dude, you look like a fucking idiot. No, that's just... that serves no purpose whatsoever. Yeah, that's just no. no. I can't stop thinking about him eating and food coming out of the table, <laughs> yeah. like just falling out of his cheeks. Uh, so he'd be like eating, he'd be like it just fall off his shoulder. But like, mm, that was tasty. <laughs> you'd have to chew with your front teeth, like like a rat. Otherwise, it would just be coming out of the sides. A rat boy, right? A rat boy. <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked, isn't it? That's fucked. I don't know. I just thought about it. it was just and like, is there any way to like rectify that? Like if you're over it and you're sick of dude, shit. Dude, you put falling. holes in his cheeks, man. What are you going to do? Like, no, uh, like it'd have to be some sort of like plastic. meat transfer. The way they take ass skin and put it Blaster. on your like, Just blast his fucking face up. <laughs> <laughs> Silly putty. Bog. Bog. Silly putty. Bog. Bog. Yeah, builder's bog. Yeah, builder's build bog. <laughs> you just paint over it and you should be fine. No, but seriously, that's, that's like... <laughs> should be fine. <laughs> that's like major plastic surgery operation, oh, dude, right? That's that's some Yeah, but you can't just rebuild meat in your cheeks no. <sighs> it'll be silicon carbon yeah. fiber cheeks <laughs> steel <laughs> it's con- and then con- you just con- call him ass face <laughs> no, I don't know or I- it could be like a villain like Dr. Metal Cheeks or something <laughs> Dr. Three Head he fucking <laughs> dude like imagine the if we went to prison uh. imagine the jail cunts how much fun they could have with that guy oh they'd be sticking their penises through there and everything mate he would be fucking in some serious trouble <laughs> he would be he wouldn't last he'd hang himself the first time oh dude he'd be at lunch <laughs> like <laughs> some guy would rock up hey boy <laughs> like that's <laughs> it <laughs> some nice holes you got there boy <laughs> I mean, how many levels of prison are there I was just thinking about this the other day I was discussing it with someone about the supermaxes in Australia but how many different Correctional facilities are there, as in levels. Because you've got Supermax, which is where all the nutty nuts go. Yeah. Then you've got, like, low-grade facilities where you're still uh, behind bars, but you get more time out in the yard or some oh, okay, shit. okay, yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. Like, like, low security, minimum yeah, security. Yeah, like what are the different <laughs> five levels? Prison? Federal prisons have five levels. Is this in Australia, just Australia? This is just in general, I think. Oh, here we go. A correctional facility, detention centre, jail in Australia... There's five. So you've got like minimum, medium, maximum. No, that's it in Australia. But in America, you've got the levels, which is like your minimum security, your uh, medium, your maximum. Um, I think it's like super max. And then... Don't fuck with me level. And then... And, 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 and then, and then, and then the, the, don't fuck with me level. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would chew your neck off level. <laughs> I need a face mask level. <laughs> the raping's in the shower level. So you got holding. You got holding. Then you got minimum. So you got holding. Like so that like would get taken in. So there'd be like remand or something here. Yeah, yeah. Be yeah. Remand yeah. Center. yeah. Yeah. And then you've got your minimum, your medium, your maximum. Yeah. And in America, you got supermax, which is you ain't coming out. <laughs> the only way out is and my body and bag. Don't fuck with me, <laughs> level. <laughs> the guy just sits there like, "How you doing, boy?" You know what would make a sick video? Sorry, dude. I, I'm gonna catch up. Just remember what you had to say. Do you want to make a sick video game? Being in prison. Yeah. Being a in prison, prison video game. What? Are there any prison but like video a games? GTA style? Yeah, GTA style. Oh, like that game, Bully. But you're in prison. You have yeah, to yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude, that'd be sick. Like, so it doesn't have to be sandbox. You know, like open world. You can go wherever the hell you want. Like massive levels. Paid just in, like paid in by that's in not prison. right. <laughs> yeah, and like you can get transferred to different prisons. Mm. And eventually, like you break out, and there is like an open sort of world element. You might too. want to mm. say this claim in case someone steals it. Paid by that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, but how cool would that? All right, reserved. <laughs> no, 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 honestly, how that, cool would that be? That's a fucking sick idea. And you can like build clicks in the prison. And you can like d- determine what skill sets you want to like. You, you can work. You can work out. And build your strength. And yeah, shit. you can be either like a forger. You can be a drug dealer. You can be like whatever. That'd be a bad game. You man. can be the rat. <laughs> Look at it, Johnny. Say it, Johnny. <laughs> Sovereign rat. Snitch. snitch. <laughs> <laughs> Working the the um the 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 cook shop and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like Johnny, I'm just uh, picturing bloody blood We'll give you an extra lunch. I'm picturing bloody blood out. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. Can you can yeah. you think of all the prison movies you've ever watched? Like the good ones? Oh, tons. I can only think honestly when it comes to prison movies. Blood in, blood out. Blood in, blood out. <laughs> the Great Escape. Yeah, <laughs> that is just the Shawshank prison. Redemption. Shawshank. I think American History X. That's felon. In prison. Yeah, yeah, American Sorry? History X. Felon. What's felon? Uh, a prison movie. <laughs> yeah, who's in it? Um, I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Who's the main it's guy? It's just called Felon. Yeah, the main guy's cute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is it your boyfriend? What's Stephen? Stephen Dorff. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Dorff. Who the fuck is Stephen Dorff? No, I don't know. This is Ste- another one of your random Stephen Ho- Stephen Hoddy Dorff. No, you know him. He's in a vampire. He's in a um, vampire movie as well. Like who um, the fuck? You're fucked. This time. Who's that? Stephen Dorff. I've never heard of him. Yeah. You're fucked. Who yeah, is that? That's a great prison movie, Fallon. Who 
is that? I don't. I do not know who that is. Dude, Val Kilmer's in it. Yeah, Val Kilmer's in it. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's the main character, <laughs> and he's really large. <laughs> Who the hell is that, man? Yeah, that that guy's in it too. That black dude, he's awesome. He's awesome. Okay. He's, he was um in um, what's that? He was in a prison show. What's it called? This guy. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was on SBS and stuff. Oh, um, Oz. Oz. Yeah, he's awesome in it as well. Yeah. He plays the crooked fucking warden. Nate Parker. Who are these guys, man? That's a sick movie, man. Felon. Felon. Well, like, basically, a dude comes onto his property and he's like robbing their house. And then he runs out and hits him over the head with a baseball bat and kills him. Oh, see, this is the scene that Johnny likes. It's just a shower scene. <laughs> you do, everyone loves a prison shower scene. No, they don't. Uh, I when there's don't. like shankings going on and shit, that's mad. Shankings? There was no shankings in the prison, the showers, man. I'm telling you that. <laughs> there's some something there's else. There's two impalings. Two impalings. No, Johnny. Felon, he gets, so he smacks some dude across the head. Yeah, smacks some dude across the head with a baseball bat. Because he's uh, robbing their house. Oh my god, it didn't do very well, dude. It's a good movie, though. Like, the budget was $2.9 million and made 36000 at box office. Mm, How movie. are you saying it's a good movie? It's, no, it's a good movie. You'd love it. You guys would love it. I know you would. Oh, who was the guy recently that just made a movie and no one saw it? Like, it premiered in the it, UK and yeah, made two one... tickets. Like, yeah, uh, they sold, like, one or two tickets to it. Was it, was it um that weird dude? The, the, that she, uh, what's his name? Um, Oof. Yeah, that, I think it's him. Let me have a look. I think it was him. Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. Pretty cute. <laughs> Why do you... Oh, here we go. Movie sells one ticket for weekend premiere. Is it him? One yeah. ticket. It is. Yeah. yeah, one ticket. And it was him, Shia. He bought the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> he had to buy his no, own ticket. He got, no, he got a free ticket. He bought one for his missus or someone. Like, he's, he's plus one, you know? Didn't want to watch it by himself. <laughs> Probably because uh, he went against the establishment, I think, right? He went all conspiratorial. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, big time. Went a bit nutty. What did he say? Like, what was his uh, ground? I can't remember. Um, I think it went along with, like, um, Elijah Wood and stuff, talking about how Hollywood's full of fucking pedophiles and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, no shit, and then his next movie sells one ticket. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you know what his name means in French? Le Bouff. Shit the beef. <laughs> shit the beef. That's what happens in the show. That's actually that in French. Oh, Le Bouff is the beef. Yeah, shit, Shire. Is shit the beef? What a sick cunt! <laughs> so what's your name? Shit the beef. <laughs> I am shit the beef. <laughs> Bad. Oh, dude, that is unbelievable. Would you call one hundred and sixty three prison a prison movie? Yeah, yeah. 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 Conair's Conair's sick, sorry, man. We've seen Nicholas Cage, man. Yeah. Um, it made one hundred and sixty three thousand dollars world. It actually been brackets worldwide. It didn't. <laughs> that's 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 hopeless. That's pitiful. Hey, Jim Conair, put the bonnie back in the bag. <laughs> put the bonnie back in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Cyrus the virus. <laughs> man, we have quoted that movie at work so many times. Just the movie, man. Oh, it's brilliant. Just his hair. Just his hair. <laughs> Kansas. The thinning long hair. <laughs> Kansas. Dude, I don't care. That's one of the best movies ever. Man. Come here, man. Oh. everyone's in that. Danny Trey is in that movie. Yeah, he is. The just rapist. that face, man. The rapist. Yeah, the face. Dude, just that face. <laughs> just yeah, and then I remember the last time it was on TV. I was texting in a thread on WhatsApp with um Arch and uh, Steve. You remember Stephen Dun- uh, Dunn used to work with us? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it was us. Gomi. Me. Who? Gomi. Gomi. Yeah, I called him Gomi because we we watched uh what was, what show was it? Gomi. Oh, um Breaking Bad. It was like this reference from that. Anyway, oh, okay. yeah, getting off track a bit. Whatever. <laughs> it was. We were just talking, and then someone said something about Connie being on TV. I'm like, oh, where? So like we all checked it on, and then. <laughs> What? Then, uh, Steve was saying like, oh, who's in this movie, la la la. And I'm like, yeah, I got caught. Oh, we started talking about another movie, and then we referenced some of the characters from Con Air. And like, oh, he's in that, and he's in that. And then Archer's like, yeah, that guy that looks like, uh, what's his name? Um, Ricky Nixon. You know, that, the manager, that, that, that agent, the footy agent that got done. Oh, yeah, 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 the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the actor from Con Air looks like Ricky Nixon. Oh, which one? You don't remember? Uh, the guy, he's a cop. They grab his Corvette and they t- they turf it across the... Uh, he ties it to the plane when he t- the plane takes off. Yeah, yeah, I remember that bit. I can't yeah, remember the guy's face. That's the though. actor, man. He looks like Richard Nixon. He looks exactly like Ricky Nixon, man. I ended up making a... Like a a grid? A side-by-side. Yeah, a photo, gr- a photo grid of side-by-side, and it was ridiculous. Hang on, I'll see if I've got it here. You know who was in Gone Air? Dave Chappelle, man. Was he? Yeah, he was Joe Pinball. Oh, yeah, he was too. Yeah, 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 yeah. he was too. He was too. <laughs> Joe Pinball? Who's yeah. Joe Pinball? Sorry, I'm being really ignorant right now, but it, it, wasn't, it, didn't have a, it didn't have a big part. It was just... Joe Pinball? That was his nickname, Pinball. 
I love that tranny black dude in it as well. <laughs> hey, of girls. course you do. <laughs> this guy. Oh man, it's not here. Hey, you know what another good prison movie? The one with um, Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Dude. Oh, oh Locker. Oh, uh, oh, that's um. Uh, it's pretty like kind of newish, not wait, newish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watched it at my house with uh, my Locker. Dude, do you want to know my favorite prison movie? Now, hang or on. Part prison movie. That's called um. Oh. It's like no escape or some shit. Escape plan. Escape plan. Escape plan. Escape plan. You guys are gonna lose it. That's a good movie. Yeah. You want to know the best es- escape from a prison movie is something gay. Dude, Tango ordinary. and Cash, man. Oh, Tango yeah, and Cash. Yeah, dude. Tango and Cash. Yeah. So Tango they use the belt. The belt yeah, to get yeah, out yeah. of the line. And they got the. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 when they're trying to get out of jail. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, do me a favor. Yeah. Pull up a photo of um Ricky Nixon. Ricky Nixon? Okay. Yeah, you, you know who Ricky Nixon is. Yeah, the is. guy that tried to slam a schoolgirl. Yeah, the agent, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wholesome guy that tried to slam a schoolgirl, yeah. Pull a photo up of him with, like, his uh, sunnies on or something, yeah? Right. Just some random photo. Oh, done. <laughs> it's look. It's not... All right, all right, yeah. <laughs> all right, and here's, here's this dude, yeah? Here's the actor from that fucking movie. Hang on. Yeah. Wait a sec. <laughs> dude? Oh, dude, he does. Oh, yeah, that's that Aussie guy, right? No, no, no. He's English, I think. Is he not Aussie? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. Dude, they, they, really... That's them. Yeah. They are exactly the same. Yeah, identical. What's that there guy's you go. name? See, look at that. Look at that with his glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dead ringer. What's his name, that guy? The uh, actor? Colm Meany. Colm Meany. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's Irish or something, man. Colin. Of course it's Colin. Yeah, he's Irish. He's Irish. Colin. Oh, he plays the dad in um, Get Him to the Greek as well. I saw Get Him to the Greek once. That was oh, it. Best movie ever. Is it? Mm. All I remember was something about the walls being furry or some shit. Oh, yeah, he takes yeah, this. Yeah. He takes, like, an acid or something. And he's like, oh. He takes a Jeffrey, which is, like, a smoke. It's got, like, LSD, fucking all sorts How of shit. How many times have you seen that movie? Oh, a hundred. A hundred? Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, I only watch it. I don't know, it's Russell Brand, man. I'm not the biggest fan of Russell Brand. Oh. He plays the same character every time, man. He's just another one of those... Remember that? Was it Arthur? Was that the name of the movie? Was it Prince or something? Yeah, 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 yeah Arthur, yeah. He is essentially getting Sarah same- Marshall. Have you have you heard him talk though? Like in just oh, he's moving. intelligent. He's so intelligent. Yeah, man. I, that's the thing. I prefer his his stand up or yeah. his like just interviews and stuff. Interviews and shit. Because he's that. Because that. I love it. Yeah, all his movies yeah. they typecast him as the same dude. He's that kind of free, yeah, loose... yeah, free rock star, but doesn't yeah. actually play music. So dude yeah. himself, well, he plays a druggie a lot of the time. Yeah, because yeah, he, he, he was. Like, he was. Yeah. Like, yeah. But he's actually really intelligent. Yeah, he had a really show on the other night I was watching where he goes around trying to help people on drugs and stuff. Yeah. Like, But have you seen him, like, interview one-on-one with reporters? Man, he fucking shuts them down, man. Yeah. They don't know what to respond with because they're like, um, I, don't, I, didn't, I can't comprehend what you're saying. Yeah, there was a period, like, two, three years ago where every interview he was doing, he was just shutting them down because yeah. they were talking about government. And He was actually on the Rogan podcast and Rogan was trying to get him to smoke a doobie on there. Why? <laughs> he's like, dude, I've been sober for, like, 20 years and he's like, come on, it's time to break that sobriety. <laughs> Rogan's going to achieve that on his <laughs> podcast. Like, he was yeah. still trying to get him to smoke weed. It was Escape Plan came out. I'm just remembering. Escape Plan was fucking great because that was a totally different concept to like the whole thing. It was like the great escape. Did you remember Lock Up? Uh, yeah, that's old, right? With that's Western. a prison movie. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's when he loses it when he's um some dude in a wheelchair like disappears and he's calling the guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like, what's the problem? Uh, what's his? Oh, what was his name? Uh, Oh, I keep forgetting. I used to remember it because I used yeah, to drive past Fabiani. I used to drive past Fabs all the time and just quote the line, Leone. Is it Leone? No, no. Mm, I've seen a long Frank time. Leone. Leone, yeah. Leone, got it. He's like, Leone, first turn. <laughs> like, like, what a cast, that. man. Yeah, it's a massive cast. Donald Sutherland, John Amos, Sonny Landon. That guy looks a mean... Mo- oh, this guy, man. <laughs> just, yeah, man. <laughs> this guy. Billy from Predator. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just two. Yeah. But then, like, Billy. he's calling for the guard, and that real rednecky, rough guard runs up. He's like, what's the problem, Leone? He's like, look over there. He's like, what guy? Look over there. Look over the wheelchair. Yeah. Like, yeah. I remember that. I remember. I remember. And they beat the shit out of <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Dude, Stallone is the biggest mad dog. <laughs> That's a sick cut, man. Wait, would you um, classify Face Off as a prison movie? Uh, a good portion of it's in prison. Yeah, that's a good yeah. prison movie. But it's only one dude in prison, not everyone in prison. Mm, it's true. only yeah, Nicolas Cage slash John Travolta. Yeah. Face Off was brilliant. Well, dude, I've got... I've got uh, What's his name again? Some of the greatest <laughs> ones here. Um, Sean Archer is um, Travolta's character. Yeah, his name Cage. is he's playing a Russian. Is it something love or something? No, or? no, no, no. His <laughs> name is um, uh, Castor Troy. Castor Troy. That's hey, right. hey, hey, Nicholas Cage. I just put in out. best Joel movies of all time. Oh, Con yeah. Air, Blood in, Blood Out. Okay. Is there? We named them. Your gay ass movie is there. Felon, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> it's not gay. I've never seen it. It's good. All I saw was a fucking jail scene. 
The shower scene. There's a shower scene in every jail. Hey, there movie. was a movie that was set in <laughs> prison. Hang on. American History. Hang on, hang on, hang on. American History. Yeah. Is there? There was a prison movie. Hang on. There was a prison movie with from Expendables. What was Stallone's brother in the Expendables? Uh, Mickey Rourke. Hmm? He plays a, tra- a drag queen in one of them. Do you remember what it was? Well, I've got him here. I got The Rock. Is it another good movie? Oh, that's one. Oh, of the, yeah. That's one of the best ones. Great movie. The Escapist. Who? The Escapist. The Experiment. Uh, Escape from Alcatraz. Okay, that's brilliant. Yeah, um, Mickey Rourke, Cool uh, Hand Luke, Prison, Cool Hand Luke, Drag. That sounds crazy. Animal yeah. Factory, Animal Factory. There you go. There you go. I just got it now. Yeah, yeah. Why have I seen seen this movie? Is this a, I think Edward Furlong's in this movie. He is. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Subordinate Ron. Yeah, Steve Buscemi is spoiled, young, and not overly worried about yeah, the marijuana. Man. I've actually seen Judges. this movie. You would love this movie, dude. Animal, Edward Furlong. What is it? Animal Kingdom. Edwin Furlong. Look at that for a cast. Look at those guys, man. Yeah, Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Look at those guys, Willem man. Dafoe, Steve Buscemi, Tom Arnold, and Mickey Rourke, man. Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo's... Here you go. He's in every Tom prison. Arnold. Yeah, Tom Arnold. He <laughs> plays a dude Buck with... <laughs> Tom Arnold plays a dude that tries to rape Edward Furlong. And Willem, then, um, Willem Dafoe has to be the rapist for sure, right? <laughs> no. He just plays a Nazi. Oh, that makes sense too. Yeah. Have you seen um, Mel Gibson's one, Get the Gringo? No. Oh. It's actually pretty cool. He's in a Mexican jail, man. It's actually fucking cool. No, I definitely haven't seen that. Yeah. Law Abiding Citizen. What's up? Oh, great movie. You, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's, that's see? Brilliant. Um, lock up. <laughs> lock, lock up. <laughs> Go in the wheelchair. Go in the wheelchair. The longest yard. Yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the longest yard. Oh, man. Van Damme. In hell. Oh, oh come, come on, that. man. Come that, that, on. That, that, that is the greatest movie of all time, that take, man. That takes number one. Dude, Wesley Snipes, Bing Rhymes, Undisputed. Oh, that is a prison movie. Yeah, yeah man. Undisputed. I've got him here. I've got him here. Holy shit, man. There's so many cool yeah. prison movies. Chopper. Chopper's a prison movie. What uh, about uh, yeah. what about Big Stan to go comedy? Well, nothing. It didn't say it. On <laughs> oh, the... with um, yeah. Uh, what's his name? Deuce Bigelow. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Rob Schneider. He's a comedic actor. Rob Schneider. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually a good movie. I had that oh, on, on a hard drive that's somewhere. Funny as fuck, dude. I never watched that. That's again. where I have it on a hard drive somewhere. Yeah, I ha- I got given it on a random hard drive, and I watched it one time in my house by myself on like my old bedroom, and then I gave it away to someone because I said you need to watch this because it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. You never yeah. got it back. Nah, big step. I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. You know what? I'm gonna download it tonight, man. I got a feeling I might have given that to you back in the day. You reckon? <laughs> I and think then you so. gave it away to someone else. <laughs> Where is that hard drive? I don't nah. know. Nah, that's a I great. That's, a, that's a funny, funny fucking movie, man. Big stand. Yeah, I can't remember who else is in that movie. Yeah, it's got the uh, the dude. Uh, carry, uh, what's his name? He's always smoking. The master. All right, let me have a look. Let me have a master. Don't don't hurt Car- your oh, brain Dave, by Dave, thinking. David Carradine. David Carradine. Yeah. Do you know who's actually got a cameo in that movie? Uh, the woman that played Edna Krabappel on The Simpsons. Oh, okay. she, part, the one, she passed away like three years ago from cancer or something. All right. But she's got a cameo in that movie. She's when he goes to the bar right before he goes in. Yeah. yeah. And he orders like the he wants to have like he wants a scotch and they've only got like bourbon whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That that chick is that's her. Oh, I didn't know. She's that. a little like uh, vocal inflection sounds like Edna Krabappel. A yeah. bit of fun fact knowledge from Jimmy. Oh yeah. David Voice Garadine. actors, man. There yeah. you go. David Carradine. Hey, we died a while back, man. Actually, I was going to say, speaking of... Eight years ago, association. association. To go the way David Carradine went, it would be the funniest, the best thing ever, man. <laughs> How did he go? Oh, in his closet with they the thing wrapped around his neck. In, um, yeah, with yeah. a tie around his neck. Apparently he had like a couple of hookers in there earlier as well. <sighs> Thailand. Found naked, hanging by a rope. <laughs> What's sad is that he was by himself, like a guy of that sort of stature, history, fame, like Auto-erotic all Auto-erotic Was by himself jerking off in a Thai, like... Hotel, it's sort of like really? yeah, like, you, that's where you got to. Well, maybe he was just taking it back to basics. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> how, about go on the, how about just sitting on the side of your bed? <laughs> like, why just? <laughs> this, is the, this is not the same, Nick. Even if you, just, don't knock it till you try it, mate. It's done that much blow. Like, you know, you can't just. Can't, it's like this. It's like uh, South Park when yeah. the internet dies <laughs> and Randy Marsh hasn't watched any porn for like a week. Mm. He loses <laughs> it once you've seen two Japanese girls doing. I can't what he says. Like something <laughs> stupid. I was going to say uh, on voice actors, man. Um, one of my favorite voice actor like clips ever was Hank Azaria. He was on. Um, uh, I think it was Leno. I'm, just, I'm stretching the memory. I watched this. Actually, I didn't watch it too long ago. He was on Leno or something, and he's um, talking about when he first moved to LA, and he goes, he didn't get any work, like he couldn't get work or whatever, and one thing he used to do is imitate Stallone to get reservations at like nice restaurants, mm-hmm. and it's probably, like, it's pretty cool. So when I got to LA, uh, when I was in my early 20s, right. I would call, I couldn't get a table in any restaurants right. or clubs, and I would call as celebrities and 
Really? Get a table. I would really do that, yeah. Now, like, who would you call that? I would call a Stallone, mostly. Right. And uh, I really did do this. So you call, like, the Ivy or something? What would you say? Yeah, I'd say, oh, how you doing? This is Sly. I want to come down tonight. Uh, you know, we have a few people, you know. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, I may be there late, so my buddy Hank Azaria will be coming. If he comes, just let him sit down first, you know. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah, man. Nailed the voice. I still love it, man. That's I love cool. the, Like, Stallone's got the best voice ever, man. I'd give it anyone says. Yeah, it's a good voice. You know, my mum used to bag Stallone all the time, like, just because of his delivery. It's like, oh, he's stupid, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, Mark, he won an Oscar for Rocky, man. Uh. He won an Oscar. Uh. That movie got, like, best picture or whatever it was. Stallone, Stallone created... Think about it like this. Anyone that wants to mock or ridicule Stallone like, and call him cheesy, washed out, whatever, it's like, dude, the guy created the characters, Rocky Balboa, Fucking Apollo Creed, man. Mm. He created those characters. Mm. Like, mm. That whole saga was his. Mm. You know what I mean? From the mind of Stallone, yeah. From the mind of Stallone. Yeah. Do you know how poor he was? Do you know the story about Stallone? No. You know his first acting job was a porno? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Kitty and uh, Kitty and something's... Something. Did, he have, did he have a big hoggy? No, <laughs> no, he wasn't. Like, you see him in the background, yeah. man. Oh. He's one of those, yeah. He was, Dude, he was a fluffer. He <laughs> was that broke. They offered him... He was that broke. He sold his dog. He had a dog that he sold. Because he was like on the streets, he basically. loved this dog. Yeah. He sold the dog, and then they offered, um, a studio offered to pick up Rocky, and they wanted to buy the script off him, and he said, you can't, you can have the script, but I need to play Balboa. And they said, no, nah, forget it. He's like, well, then you're not getting the script. So they ended up giving him the script on the, uh, getting the script on, on his terms, and that turned him into a star. Once he got his first bit of money, he went back to buy the dog. Oh, no shit. No shit. He had, to buy, he had to see this dog, man. That's how poor he was. Oh, okay. And literally on his last legs, that's when the studio made the offer for Rocky. That's amazing that they let him just play it like some homeless, like basically a homeless dude, like yeah. play the role. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. yeah crazy. He looked back and it's like there's no one else. That Who else played could have it? played Rocky, man? No one else could have played it. Mm. Stallion, Stallion, man. Yeah. Mm. They Stallone. Said, <laughs> when they were picking the like, I was watching one of Stallone's um, interviews, and he's like, when they were picking Creed out, and then um, what's his name walks in, um, uh. The, fuck the actor that plays a. Uh, oh, great. Great, yeah. Uh, how, am I, how am I forgetting his fucking name right now? Uh, this is like one of my favourite actors of all time. I know his face, but I can't think of his name. Oh, no, I've, I've just you're, you're thinking of his afro. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> and the mo. Wait, is, is that the guy that's in Predator? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Right. How the fuck am I forgetting his name? I, I swear to God. I, like... Morgan Freeman? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a racist, man. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. Is it Denzel? He was played by Carl... Carl Weathers. That's yeah. it. What? Uh, fucking memory blank. But they said when they were picking out the actors for Carl, uh, for Apollo Creed, like Stallone's just sitting there, you know, like, yeah, he looks in the first one as well. Like, he's all young and just rough. Yeah. Just, he's, not, he's not refined. Like, he hasn't got any... Because like, if you see him in, like, Rocky th- uh, Four. You know Rocky Four, like when Carl Weathers is talking about wanting to be like the best again, all this yeah. sort of shit. And Rocky like looks pretty like just slick. You know what I mean? He's got the money, he's got the cut. Like he, in the first one, he just looks like this meat potato from like mm. you know um, the Bronx or whatever. Which he basically was. Like, yeah, which he like, was. Yeah. <clears throat> and then they go when they picked when they went to when they were casting actors for like. Apollo Creed, Carl Weathers walks in in like a suit, like all like doing his Muhammad Ali. Suave. Yeah, and just looks at Stallone and like they started reading and he says something like, can we get like a better actor to like read opposite me because this guy's a joke? Oh. And then well, Stallone, because he didn't know who Stallone was. Stallone was like, yeah, this is the guy. We're going to go with this guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> just that smug fucking... Yeah, man. What is this, a joke? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Amateur hour at the fucking S- film hall, you know? Like, sp- <laughs> amateur hour. <laughs> Speaking of casting, guess what reality shows up and running and casting the new uh, mob? I thought of you straight away. <laughs> Rap oh, boy. Something, yeah. something horrible then. The Bachelorette is up. Uh, the next oh, is the Sophie, is it Sophie Monk the fucking Bachelorette? Oh, like, a, go away. It's a, <laughs> a website you can apply to, man. Done, Johnny. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm signing you up. Fuck <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm <laughs> signing you up. I could tweet You've got him. a lot to offer. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick her up in the stato. <laughs> All right. Hop in, love. You're going to take her for a date to fucking Hunky Dory. <laughs> this is... <laughs> she said that. Look at not important. <laughs> passenger seats just filled with chip wrappers and bourbon cans and packets of smokes. Dude, I'm signing you off. Just, just right push now. that aside, so it's all right. <laughs> Are you hungry? Uh, you put out a tin of half open till mothers, man. <laughs> Packet of snakes in the glove box. <laughs> Rock hard. Can I just say snakes. something to Sophie in case she listens to this by mistake? 
You don't, you don't need to is go to... Is it the Bachelorette? Is that what it is? Hey, you just cut off my speech to Sophie. <laughs> Why would Sophie and Mike ever listen to Sophie, this podcast? If, so by some crazy chance you listen to this, do not do that show. Just the man that you need is right here. Johnny Baby. <laughs> Johnny Baby? <laughs> we have so much in common, I know it. Okay, well, she was on the project uh, the, a couple of nights ago. I watched some of the projects. She was on oh, it. Oh, I didn't see she it. She was saying some shit like... She just wants... She's sick of, like, the footballer types of pressure now. She just wants, like... She wants a dork, if anything. Like, just some Johnny, random... Johnny, your glasses man. on, suspenders, you're in, son. <laughs> you're this in. a perfect... A perfect, uh, a perfect date. A, <laughs> Hi, I thought of you straight away. Her perfect date was at home with, like, pizza, wine, and, like, uggies and... Tr- and a cone. And Sophie. <laughs> and a cone. <laughs> I'm your perfect man. I just said it before. We have so much in common. That's my idea of a perfect diet. You love her. She loves her. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I, I'm putting you in. And I've seen you in person before, Sophie, at Chibi Hi-Fi. It was a magical moment for me. You didn't see me, but You're I fine. saw you. I was hiding around the corner. I was nervous. This podcast, like, next thing you know, Feds are going to kick the door down. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I love Sophie. you got as many photos of her as she has of her. Don't go on that show with all those creeps, Sophie. Don't do it. Well, she said, yeah, she doesn't want... I can, can you imagine, like, the Dude, can I please sign you up? Sign me up. We'll do it later. No, no, we'll do it later. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we'll Dude, do it, bro. <laughs> can you imagine him on that show, as in all these buff dudes in their 20s, like, just and You know what? He'll end up marrying her, because <laughs> she's like, all these jock guys are, like, all fuck, you know, they're up themselves. And see, Johnny played the, the, the slick card. You know, the, the, the shy dark guy. Horse. Yeah, the dark horse. <laughs> the dark horse, the shy guy, the single parent, yeah. you know. Yeah, she said kids wouldn't be an issue either. Ah, yeah, oh, oh, Sophie. Dude. Johnny, man, I reckon you're in. You're in. Can you picture the mansion? Like, all these guys are doing push-ups and, like, and chest bumps. He's sitting there with, like, a pack of chisels on the couch and he's writing the fridge. That's how I catch your eye. You know what? And, and he'll go to the grandfather clock. I wonder how much I can get for this. <laughs> he's on the couch, just hands in pockets. And then it's like everyone's doing push-ups trying to get her attention. Yeah. She walks into the lounge room and sees this guy, so Johnny. I, I want him. I want him. <laughs> That guy that doesn't care. He handles the show. I all, just want Johnny. He's all pasty. <laughs> These guys are just... <laughs> I love your jeggings, Johnny. <laughs> he's wearing the same clothes in time. <laughs> <laughs> he's in there, Johnny, you know I've got a washing machine. He's in there hand scrubbing his clothes. I like a man that takes initiative. <laughs> Apples in his pockets. <laughs> and you, then Wednesday, you know, they, you know they're free, right? Like, Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday comes, he just takes off, and we're outside. It's like, what are you doing? I have podcast today, <laughs> so I can't do the show for the next five hours. Oh fuck! <laughs> And, he, and he's Johnny Wright, just sitting there with a smoke inside the house. <laughs> so, uh, when's lunch? <laughs> hey, Soph, you making spag bowls and what? What's happening? <laughs> You'll go to the dinner dates. He's sitting there just buying food. <laughs> I mean, uh, he, or- he go- orders Uber Eats. Did you guys want something? Did you like <laughs> I was so dead. I'm not ripping on you. I honestly thought. No, uh, not at all. Okay, I really want you to sign up. I thought, here's would your you, moment. Honestly, honestly, Dude, would you, you were do saying it? it like a month ago, or maybe be more, about how much she made an effect of you at JP that time, oh. and now she's on the Bachelor. Would you do it? Honestly oh. speaking, would you do it? No, I wouldn't do it. Come on, why? Man. You know, you get paid. For I know. It, look, I know we're talking about you going on a reality show, and it says what it is, but it's Dude, Sophie, Monk. Sophie Monk. You'll be you go on a date with her. You will actually go on a date with her. It's not worth being on TV. Dude, once the cameras are shut, you can do whatever you want. Wait, man. what's your problem about going on TV? Oh, I'd be fucked. I don't know. No, no, honestly, what's your issue with being on TV? I don't know. Too much limelight. Limelight? Yeah. Dude, if you want to be on TV, just steal a car or something. You'll be on TV for about 30 seconds. <laughs> just go to Koshi and Mel in the back of the window. Yeah. Wait, mate, they're not worried about the limelight. <laughs> John 316. <laughs> no, no, no. What limelight? Like, seriously. Dude, I couldn't be on a reality show. That'd be fucked. Okay, why? I think, look, I can give you a million reasons not to go on one, but I want to know why you wouldn't outright. Oh, I just wouldn't like being under the spotlight the whole time, getting filmed the whole time. But you're not. But you do a podcast once a week. Yeah, that's completely different, though, than being How is that different? What if we film this? Yeah, I know. We see you guys were breaking my balls to film it from day dot. Yeah, when you got your suit for the wedding. You wouldn't be on network. <laughs> wouldn't be on network television being viewed by millions. No, just on like, the internet, viewed by millions, 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 potentially millions. Yeah, internet's different. I don't know. You'd still have a It's just different though Because we're doing what we want Like we're just sitting here chilling We don't have to like Put on some sort of act and shit You don't like, put on an act That's what Sophie Monk wants She wants someone real <laughs> I'll just call Johnny, her Johnny you are yeah, down to call her. I'll call her You know I'll what call after the He's going to go the underdog man He's going to go in As the hard working single dad 
That, real, you know, real, he keeps real himself. True blue, real true blue. Yeah, Humble. Love, loves family. You know, <laughs> doesn't mind having another kid. You know, oh, with if Sophie, Sophie that's mate, fine. dude, I'm telling you, do it, man. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Fish. No, why not? Fish. Fish. <laughs> what? Fish. 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 Like new. Hey, it brings it back to the prison. <laughs> What's the prison? Oh. Fight. Do it, man. Come on. We're going to sign you up. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've got all your details. <laughs> yeah. Man. What more do we need? We've got his I name. I don't need you. Hey. I'm going to sign you up. <laughs> We've got his name. What more do you want? Hey. He knows where you live. I've got your phone number. <laughs> That's Fuck it. Done. I'm not signing. <laughs> hey, you've got no choice. I'm, I'm going to make up an email address. It's going to send it to... <laughs> Fake my signature. Johnny, that's not right. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. I do love Sophie, though. Fuck, she's a baby. Dude, even if you can get on there just to meet her, imagine you, even if you're there for like a week... Or a day. Big deal. Get a free meal. Meet Sophie Monk. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Write a book about it. That's it. <laughs> Memoirs of my Johnny. Time in, you know. <laughs> my brush with love. Uh, just book Sophie. <laughs> That's all. Well, you, dude, Sophie. you know what, man? Every time you open the paper, the papers are still talking about contestants of like the Bachelor and shit from like four years ago. Yeah, and they're all washed out losers. Yeah, but they get paid interviews, man. <laughs> yeah, but this, that's exactly it. They're 20 still bucks get, a pop. Dude, dude they're still what, getting 20 paid. Bucks? Man, they'll be getting paid 20, 30 grand. All these dumbasses from that marriage show. What was it called? That um, Marri- Love at First Sight? Right, yeah. You know how much they get paid for the interviews? So you want me to be a B-grade washed up celebrity? Yeah, so we can live off you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we can be your entourage. B-grade entourage. <laughs> the crew. Yeah, called Shtick oh, War. Dude. Oh. Stick ball, certainly. <laughs> Had to do it. <laughs> That's a fuck. I hate, you know what, man? I hate those words. You know, every, t- every year, there's some buzzword that comes up on the net, and yeah. it's like my click, my squad, my crew, my entourage. You know what, you know, you know what ours is? Lit, lit as fuck. You know what, no, you know what this is? Ours is? These cunts. <laughs> these cunts. <laughs> these cunts. <laughs> I fucking well, these, hate it, man. These cunts. These cunts. Uh, that's my biggest beef. I remember I wrote that. Would you put like lit as fuck, like in that? In oh, that, oh in um, that L-A-F, sort of, yeah, lit as fuck. Dude, I ask, you know, sometimes when I read stuff, I actually have to Google it to see what it means. Yeah, so I actually I've don't do know that. what it means. Yeah. Is that because we're old? I just don't care about that stuff. Like, don't people know English? Not <laughs> yeah, but don't people know English? Well, they're too lazy to write lit as fuck. Mm. Or write L A T whatever the fuck, or L A F or whatever. Yeah. Well, the way we communicate, man, it's like changed. Like, we remember we talked about the hieroglyphics and the alphabet and the way it commu- It's gone back. Yeah, like. Now we're just going to like fucking what's it called? Like abbreviations for everything. We know when Johnny's horny, he'll just send an eggplant <laughs> just, or a banana. He'll be like, mm. well, uh, Johnny's it. on it again. <laughs> Johnny's yanking it again. Johnny's yanking it. That's a fucked man. I'm Seriously. looking up Sophie Monk. <laughs> Maybe I should send Sophie the eggplant. I was, actually, I was you know, I was seeing about that the other day. Like, fuck, I love Sophie. Calm down, man. Oh, if you do, then get on the bus. Right up, just thinking about it. Just write Dude, that in your interview. Tell me, come on, sign up. Sign up. Dude, just you, sign up. She was in a movie called The Hills Run Red, and I get, you get to see her name. Movie? Movies. You get to oh. do your own movie with her if you want, man. Come on. Yeah, I'll pay to see that. Dude. <laughs> what, like a porn? <laughs> she beats the shit out of you. She is so amazingly good looking. Oh. I'll use those nice words on the phone. That's right, dude. It, it's strange, man. Like, thinking about, like, the way we talk and shit, and, like, our vocab now to what, like, I mean, you compare our parents to... Their vocabulary. And Chalk and cheese, hey, Nicholas? Chalk and cheese, <laughs> Chalk and cheese, Chalk and cheese. Chalk and cheese. Oh, is it? <laughs> uh, let me ask you, actually, you know what? Let me ask you a question, man. Sweetly. What did you Sweetly. want to, what did you, where did you see yourself as a kid moving on, right? Did you have a clear plan or like a projected vision from like, say, 18 onwards? Never. Never? Really? No. No idea? No. Did you? Yeah. What did you see yourself doing? I actually saw myself working for the AFL. Honestly. Or being in music, as in like yeah, 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 being yeah. in a band or working in sport in general, not just AFL, but I thought I'd be in like administration and in a sporting organization. I wanted to get into coaching, something like that. Yeah. Didn't plan out. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's um, strange where I am, but I found, dude, I found a time capsule in my mum's house that I made with like in 95 or something, 96. And a porno. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. It was, like, we had to do it in primary school. And it's just the whole box is covered with like... Um, and amazing cartoons and shit that I would have yeah. drawn. And inside, I, I haven't opened it up in years, but like I, I should go have a look at it. But I remember there was like a newspaper clipping. I think I put the newspaper clipping of Tyson biting Evander Holly for the year. That was 96. It was 96? I think it was 96. Oh, when he bit the ear? Yeah. Yeah, something like I'm that. I'm pretty sure it was 96. It must have been from that. Yeah, it was from that year. But I had all this shit. And then there was like a timeline like of what my projected... What I'd be doing yeah. at like 16, 18, 20, 25, 30, I think. I can't remember what it went up to. But I remember something ridiculous, like me being like an animation artist or cartoonist or some shit and being like, 
like in a steady job, relationship, marriage. Like I, I can't remember exactly what it was. That's deep, bro. I remember when I like read it. Because we were forced to do it for school. Okay, I thought this was something you just did on your own. No, 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 no. We That's why I'm thinking school. the whole time. Like, oh no, my dude, god, why, why the fuck would I ever do something like that, man? This guy's some psycho genius. Nah, but I remember reading it and thinking, like, <laughs> the last time I saw it, which was years ago, I remember reading it, thinking, like, where the fuck naive was I? Like, at you know, ten years old or however old I was, and I thought, how do kids see the world now at ten? To the way we may have seen the world at 10. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Again, it comes down to technology, though. We didn't have that kind of technology. Yeah, well, so we saw changed. more We saw more with our eyes wide open. Yeah, I but guess. that's what I'm saying. Like, I think about my mum, because I was talking about... Um, who was I talking to about it, uh, the other day? Talking about villages. Like, I think I was talking about it with one of my... Oh, one of my neighbours. She's Polish, and she was telling me she grew up... And she grew up in Krakow somewhere, right, in Poland. But every summer she'd go to, like, an uncle's farm or some shit out in the country like in the village or some shit. And I said, yeah, I, go, I get it. She goes, do you? I go, yeah, dude. I go, my mum's from a fucking village. I've, you, yeah. Unless you've been to a village, yeah. whether it's in Greece, Lebanon, like doesn't matter where it is, unless you've actually been to a rural shit farm village, it's, you never know what it's actually like. It's an eye opener. Yeah. And then I thought about like my mum. Actually, this ties into what's going on now. Do you see the, the citizenship test? Yeah, the 457 visa things. So, yeah, yeah they're, they're scrapping it. They're scrapping the 457 visas and they're buffing up the, um, the citizenship test. Mm. And okay. they're saying that... It's basically Turnbull bowing to, like, one nation and, like, a lot of those cunts. Mm. Like, the whole, yeah, trying to make it harder for things. But the whole thing... Your boy, Malcolm. The questions... It's like, <laughs> could you pass the, the, the Australian citizen, yeah, citizenship test? <laughs> could you pass it? I reckon... I, I don't think, I I think any of us here could pass the Australian citizenship What's test. What's on it? Look it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he just has to say he's a descendant of Ned Kelly and he'd be fine. <laughs> Yeah, I have dude. my Bush Ranger roots. Welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you a place on the cabinet. <laughs> hey, wasn't my relative a sympathizer of Ned Kelly? He was, wasn't he? Was, he? Yeah, he, was. he bit the shit out of Ned Kelly just oh, to teach him a lesson. Pistol whipped him. Yeah. Oscar Wilde. And then, and then he, was the, he was the one at his hanging to support him, as in, like, I'm there to watch him die. Like, <laughs> dude. Well, yeah. I'm, I can't believe you said him. Yeah, but up. they were talking about the citizenship test. Wild, and then, wild right? The new, the new form of citizenship test, where they're basically screening... They're making things like English... Like, you'd want the per- whoever's applying for citizenship has to have a strong grasp of the English language. Yeah, I think I'd pass that part of it. <laughs> Is it really? No, I'm serious, because I'm good with, like, Do you want to hear the practice like- questions? No, no, hang on. My problem was... Like, <clears throat> actually, I'll read... The- I'd fail when it comes to, like, Australian history and stuff, because I don't really know it. Dude, no one knows Australian history. We never got taught it in school. That's the point. No, about the Bush Rangers. We did so, and- so we, we learned about the Bush Rangers, and that's more or less it. Something about World War Two, maybe. You know what I mean? The diggers. Hang on, let me find it. Because I would screenshotted this, because this sort of pissed me off a bit, yeah? Um, hang on a second. Uh, fucking screenshots. Okay, one of Australia's... Um, oh, this was the argument that they were making, yeah? Um, <laughs> so I, can't remember some, I can't remember who said it, because I've only screenshotted some of the article. One of Australia's most successful business leaders and greatest philanthropists is the founder of Westfield, you know, Westfield Shopping Centres, Frank Lowey. When he came here as a refugee, he understood only a little English. Today, with that level of skill, would he be unlikely to quali- he would be unlikely to qualify for citizenship. Is that the sort of Australia? Is that the sort of Australian we'd be happy to miss out on? And then um, Turnbull said it wasn't a fair example. The starting point for applying to be an Australian citizen is being a permanent resident, so they're not prejudiced. But to take on the additional honour, that additional privilege of being an Australian citizen is it is perfectly fair, and it is in their interest to have a competent level of English, right? Competent level of English. Yeah, but at the same time, if you're a fucking Iranian refugee that's escaping persecution and you need to get the fuck out, otherwise you're going to die. Too bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I can't, man. That's what it is, though. No, no, that's you're saying that's okay. This is no, a that's test. That's not my opinion. It's fucked. I found it, uh, the, the test. As in, like, this is just a practice test. Yeah. You can do on the Australian thing. Because I, I thought about that, yeah? Like, my mum, when she came here, she learned how to speak English in Greece. Obviously, it wasn't, like, fluent. You know, my gosh, she just did a crash course in for, like, a couple months or whatever and got down here. There are, there are old... There are people here that can't speak fucking English to save their lives. Hmm. But should they not be here just because they couldn't speak the well, language initially? Well, let's do the test, Mr. Greek man. <laughs> let's see. I was born here. <laughs> You're the immigrant, <laughs> you fuckwit. Uh, <laughs> took every day. Asia. <laughs> Asia, Asia comes through. <laughs> through. <laughs> Kick the door down. Right, let's, do the, let's do the test, all right? Ten quick questions. Here we go. Are we going to fail? Like, we are going to fail like What fuckwits. is a term used for a government formed by representatives elected by the public? The, a, dictatorship. Democracy. Inquality, none of the above. Doc- democracy. democracy. <laughs> Obviously. Cool. 
<laughs> are they all like this? <laughs> well, seriously, man, I've got no idea. Oh, correct. <laughs> all right, now. <laughs> I love how we're doing it. He's the immigrant. He should be doing it. <laughs> you should it. be doing an immigrant. I've got an Australian citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a citizen. Immigrant pig. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What is the name given to the process of considering a proposed new law for the purpose of accepting or rejecting it? How is it? How is it? I can't. <laughs> really? How is it? Two questions in, he's cracked. Yeah. Um, review, preview, auditing. What? I thought it'd be like a bill. Well, no, you'd be wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? What is the what? Hey, so hang on. Yeah, what is game. the name given to the process of considering a proposed new law? For the purpose of accepting or rejecting. I'd say review. Review, definitely. Because there's not an audit. Correct. Yes. <laughs> oh, I kept my mouth shut on that one, man. <laughs> what governing system does Australia follow? King rule, parliamentary democracy, queen rule, none of the above. Queen rule. No, hang on. No, hang on, wait a second. King oh, aren't we a parliamentary democracy? We are, we've got parliament. Or are we queen rule? Queen rule. You reckon? Nah, man. Let me put it in. <laughs> put it in. <laughs> no. You'd be fucking wrong, my friend. No. Get out of my country. <laughs> well, it's parliamentary it's parliament, democracy. man. The Queen doesn't do shit for uh, us. So the ethnics, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so the spite in his eyes. That question is a lie. <laughs> it's parliamentary, man. The Queen doesn't d- dictate what we do. All right. What does? When we throw up new laws, we don't go to the Queen and say, hey, Lizzie, uh, what do you reckon of this one? Let us know. I've heard otherwise. No. Well, we, pay, told you dude, we pay money to the Queen. That's about it. Yeah. She doesn't do shit. We else. live on her land because I rent online. She rents Australia out to us. <laughs> 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 we're, we're tenants on Australia. Like, yeah, we're tenants. We're tenants. Because uh, oh, oh, I read online all about the Governor General and his role. Like, well, they lied. Had more power. They than lied her. to you, Bobby. <laughs> okay, what does the five-pointed white star of the flag of the Torres Strait Island symbolise? Torres Strait Islands. A symbol of peace. A symbol for all Torres Strait Islanders. Or the island groups in the Torres Strait. Okay, dude, I'll be honest. The only time I ever heard the word Torres Strait Islands ever growing up, even to now, was on a Centrelink form or something when it said, Always. You know, are you are you of Maori or... Uh, Aboriginal. Uh, Aboriginal. Yeah. Or like a tax form or something. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the only time I've ever heard it a has reference. To be, it has to be peace. I, I, I didn't even remember what peace. it was. You'd be wrong. Oh, okay, the group it's of islands. the island. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought it was, yeah, states or islands or something. All right, boys, almost there. <laughs> We've already failed. <laughs> Australians who feature in the electrical role Electoral, electoral. electoral role are not allowed to be a part of a jury. True or false? Electoral role. No, they're meant to be. It's, that's false. You're meant to be in the electoral role. That's how you get uh, selected, Johnny. <laughs> I'll just go against what Jim said. <laughs> You'd be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, you like, are the worst immigrant, <laughs> the worst Australian citizen. Doesn't matter. Ever. The name of the capital city of Queensland. Sydney, Brisbane, Canberra, Hobart. To Woomba. <laughs> to Woomba. <laughs> All right. What is the maximum number of representatives elected oh. to the Senate for every Australian... I've got no for idea. For every state in Australia. No idea. How the fuck... 11, 12, 9, or 15? I've got no idea. That, that's 15. Can't be 12, because majority rules. As in, it has to be an odd number. 15. 15. 15. You'd be wrong. <laughs> and I, I was wrong as well, 12. Who gives a man. fuck? Dude, well, that, that's hang on a test. second, man. No one knows anything about Parliament. Who the fuck would know that number? What type of government rule that's is bullshit. seen in Australia? Democracy, capitalist, communist. communist. <laughs> it's just a democracy. No, but we're a capitalist country now. Well, fucking now we Turnbull's are. like, yeah, fucking selling off everything and fucking everyone over. Okay, two more questions, boys. That's wrong. We're a capitalist country. Who holds the power to change existing laws and make new ones in Australia? The Queen? Parliament, the courts, or none of the above? Well, I'm going to stay true to the Queen, because that's what it is. The Queen isn't it, man. It's either, I'd say the court. You'd say the court, but because it's par- if, because it, it goes you, through court before, yeah. like, yeah, but you, it's, it's Parliament. Parliament, man. you're yeah. right. No, nah. <clears throat> it's Queen. Choose right, so the correct number of Australian states from the choices below. Dude, the Governor-General... Wait, 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 hang on, say it again. Choose the correct number of Australian states, not territories, states. States, okay. Ten, nine, eight, or six. Hang on. All right. <laughs> Queensland, New South, Victoria, South Australia, Western Australia. Tassie. Tassie's a state, yeah. yeah six. You'd be correct. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. Okay, one more. Thank one more. God. Dude, thank God. Hey, this, this is, is my right last up John- chance. This, this is my last this, chance. This is up Johnny's... You'll get this. This is up Johnny's... Yeah, here we go. What is a term used to describe carrying drugs or buying them illegally <laughs> for, the pur- for the purpose Drug of selling? Drug meal. Drug trafficking, consuming drugs, drug therapy. <laughs> 
Uh, that's really that's so you're trafficking. I don't want to answer it. You're trafficking. I'll give you one more, just because that was a bit easy. Law enforcement falls under which type of governing power? All right, <laughs> executive power, legislative power, judicial power, queen power. None of the above. Ah oh, shit! I got, dude, I got no idea. Yeah, I don't know. None None of the, the above. Why the pick fuck? ones? None of the above. You'd be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> executive power, and that's it. You on this basis, you would have failed. <laughs> what the fuck does executive power mean? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> but that's the kind of questions that people are going to have to answer. Like you telling me, How little the fuck is an Afghani refugee going to know what the f- half of those you are? Tell me, little Hasim <laughs> from, from fucking the backside <laughs> from Lebanon. Yeah, man. Like, what is executive? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's fucked. Uh. Well, that's what people are going to have to what start about answering. kids? Why what do about- they need to know that stuff? Like, really? Like, We don't know that stuff, man. I don't fucking know that stuff. I'm still stuck on that one where they said the Queen doesn't fucking give us fucking... <laughs> no, she doesn't approve our laws. She doesn't make our laws for us. We've bro- Dude, Australia has broken away enough to be able to... That's why they keep fighting for a do republic. You think right, we well, could, well, well, do you I'm think not- we could survive as a republic, honestly? Like, honestly speaking... All I want to say is... Look, up- <laughs> look at the dumbasses <laughs> that are running our parliament right now. <laughs> yeah, true. Look at who's running our country right now. Could you imagine Turnbull as the president? We'd become fucking Cuba in no time. <laughs> Watch. Yeah. Honestly, the rich will get richer, the poor will stay poor. <laughs> the know? poor will become... Even more poor. Sewer rats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like in Demolition Man. <laughs> Another slow movie. movie! Another prison movie! <laughs> Great movie. Great movie. <laughs> well done, boys. Well done. Oh. An hour and 12 minutes in, man. We've come full circle. Remember O'Leary's The, the Sewer Rat? With another Stallone prison movie. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean that, by the oh, way. Oh. I didn't mean I'll that. I'll clap him to eight. Yeah, no, I'll clap him to that. I'll clap him to that. Good stuff, guys. man. That's, that's, a, that's actually pretty you, funny, Thank you, man. thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. I just want to say, I looked up the, what the Governor General does, and he's like has more power than the fucking Parliament, and if there are rules that and laws that fucking come up that need to be changed. He fucking talks to the Queen about it. Yeah, but the Governor General doesn't give a fuck. Nah, dude, the Governor General sits on his ass, collects his check from the Queen, and just oversee Australia. To do what? What does he do? He doesn't do anything. We've talked about it before. Dude, he doesn't do anything. There's so many bullshit roles in Parliament, man. There should be just like... But he has more power than the fucking Turnbull on that. He says, like, what? Well, go ahead. He, he, uh, okay, what's, what does he, he do? what's the Governor General's he name? He liaises with the Queen. What's his name? What's the Governor General's name? Uh, Peter Cosgrove. Yeah, who was the military guy. Yeah. Yeah, but what does he do? I didn't know his fucking name. He, he lives in a thing. mansion in was it, Canberra. Wasn't it that chick before him? Uh, yes, it was. Chick? The Governor General was a chick before. Are you sure? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. I think I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Australian. <laughs> Are you thinking about the head of, like, the police? <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll... I think you are. I don't know. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. I don't think a female can get that role, dude. You would have failed another test. Show me. Quinton Bryce, female. Quinton, what kind of female name is that? She's British, man. <laughs> She's British. That's a, She's British. Oh, well. <laughs> See, I know more. The, the migrant is more about this country we love. <laughs> God bless the Queen. <laughs> Bad man. <laughs> How about them apples, Johnny No Never No Show? <laughs> Johnny No Show. <laughs> Dude, they have it's the way I'm under the bus. <laughs> Sorry. Why am I copying it so hard today, Johnny you motherfucker? Johnny No Show. I've had a bad day, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Leave Johnny alone. <laughs> Leave, Leave Johnny, Johnny alone. alone. <laughs> Uh, I'm dude, just trying to find where it says he has more power. Oh, you think it's going to say power, Governor General over Turnbull? No, 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 because I've read all about it, man, and it says, like, if something comes up, he has the final say, and he talks to the Queen about it, and then he comes back and says, no, you cunts, no. <laughs> no, you cunts. No, you cunts. <laughs> Halfway through a sandwich and a beer. <laughs> no! <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs>